Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will explain to you how to block website on Chrome browser for client computers using group policy in Windows Server 2019. Of course, as an administrator, you may need to block or prevent clients from accessing some websites. Therefore, I will teach you how to make a list of websites that you want to prevent domain users from accessing. To do this, first, open the server manager, and then, click on the tools menu, and from the menu, click on group policy management. Then, open on the domain controller, to create a new policy, click on the group policy object, then, on the right hand side, right click and select new. This is to create the new policy, and of course, write a name for the new policy. Try to write a distinctive name for it, so that it is easy for you to access it whenever you want. Then, click the OK button. After that right click on new group policy object, and select the edit option. After opening the group policy management editor screen, expand the user configuration folder then expand the policies folder, then expand administrative templates. Here you are supposed to find the policies for the Chrome browser. But for your information, these policies must be included in the group policy. Because by default the Chrome policies are not present. I will leave you a link to download Google Chrome policies in the description of the video. To insert a Chrome policy, right click on administrative templates, and from the list select add, or remove templates. Then, click on the Add button, and locate Chrome Policy Templates. After adding, click the Close button. Templates will be added immediately. Expand the Classic Administrative Templates folder. Then, expand the Google folder. Then click on the Google Chrome folder. Then on the red side, look for Block Access to List of URLs. Click on it. Then enable the item named block access to a list of URLs, and after enabling, click on the show button, and enter a list of websites or URLs. You can make a list of all the websites that you want to prevent the client from accessing. I will write YouTube, and Facebook for example only. After completion, click the OK button, then click on the play and OK button. The final step is to link the policy to the organizational unit you want. Here I will do it in the organizational unit called test. This is for testing before linking it to any other unit. Right click on the organizational unit and from the list select. Link an existing PO. Then select the policy you want to link. And press the OK button. After that, now I open the client's computer, which is linked to the domain, to try the new policy and to apply the new policy to users. You can reboot the computer. Or write the update command to the policy group. And the fastest is to open the command and write the command that appears in front of you on the screen. After completion, open the Chrome browser. Open for example, the Google site to make sure that it works. Then, open sites that have been banned such as YouTube, and Facebook. Well, YouTube is not working, and Facebook has also been blocked. You can add all the sites that you want to block, in the same way in the group policy. Thank you for watching, and I hope the video will be useful to you. I also hope to subscribe to my channel. Thank you all.